my channel, Luno's Trading. My name is Tori Solis, and today we're going to be doing a Raku firing at the Dallas Creative Arts Center. I'm standing out here in front of our gas Raku kiln. We're going to use this kiln to superheat our pottery, and then while it's red hot, we're going to grab it and we're going to throw it into a trash can full of combustibles to create a reduction atmosphere. In our case today, it's going to be newspaper, so let's get started. This is our glazed room. Everybody in here is getting their pieces ready for the Raku firing today. We have several different low fire Raku glazes to choose from. We have this silver flash Raku, this low fire honey mix, opaque white crackle, a traditional white Raku that crackles. The one that I'm actually using is called Alligator Crawl. It's one of my favorites. They've got it up here. This is a sample test tile of this one. I'm putting this on one of my pots, so I'm really excited to see what comes out of the kiln today. These are the two pots that I will be putting in the Raku firing. This one here on the right has the blue flash Raku glaze that was pulled out of the room at the time, so I didn't get to show you this one, but essentially it's supposed to be a shimmery blue flashing glaze. And then this is the pot where I put the alligator Raku. I did a really thick application because I want to encourage that crawling texture personally for this piece. So these are the two that I'm going to be firing and I think it's about time that we loaded up the kiln. So we're all working together here to load the kiln. My instructor Nathan is doing most of the loading and some of my classmates are helping to hand him pieces to make sure that everybody's work gets in and gets fired. I am doing a voiceover and I muted this original audio because the metalworking class was so loud and they were going so hard on their artwork that I couldn't figure out a way to keep the original audio on this clip without it being incredibly painful to listen to. But thankfully by the time our kiln was ready to unload they had finished with all of their artwork for the day so we will be able to use the original audio in that portion of the clip. I feel like it will make you feel a little bit more like you're there. In the upcoming clip of the kiln itself you can hear a roaring noise and that is actually the sound of the gas burning into the kiln.
All the copper ones are going to come out first, and then just push them forward. Oh. Thank you. 
The copper is hotter, so I'll leave those for a little bit longer. Let's try another one. Hopefully we can clear. I don't know. Do you remember which order you put these oh, in? No. Yeah, this one is. Well, this looks like the smaller one is that. This is the first one? Yeah, and I think I did that one and then built that. Oh, okay. Oh, awesome. Okay, little bowl. Ha, but it just came out.
So let's give it a shot. Um, These are the results from today's Raku firing in our class at the Creative Arts Center. I'm not going to touch everyone's pieces because they're not mine to touch, but these are my pieces. So this was the blue Raku, and as you can see it reduced really well. These are not for sale because they crack and they're a little unstable, so this is just for me. So this is that piece. And then this one was my favorite. This was the alligator crawl raku, and it had some amazing texture. And then the colors came out pretty incredible as well for this piece. And all my little feetsies stayed on. I still have to clean these up a little bit. Once I get them cleaned up and take their money shots, they will be uh, featured on my shorts. So if you subscribe to the channel, you'll be able to see those. So. Thank you for tuning in this week, guys. I hope you found this video entertaining and fun. If you'd like to see a weekly art video, you can subscribe to my channel, Blue Nose Trading. And if you'd like to see all of my videos and work before everybody else, you can support me at patreon.com slash blue nose trading. And I will see you guys next week.